Hello, my name is Rosanna Molino and welcome to the Rosanna Mod Podcast. Want to modify your life? That is corny, but I'm going to keep it in there. This variety show brainstorms solutions for everyday challenges, unlocks your secret potential, think outside the box with creative ideas that improve your business and your life. Get inspired with special guests, get motivated with how-to projects for the whole family, and learn that life is too short for anything less than being happy. Laugh with me or at me, it doesn't matter, somebody's going to laugh. Hey everybody, welcome to the Rosanna Mod Variety Pod. This is your vessel and host, Rosanna Moduño, and this is episode 54, or 54. Before I start my top 10 uh, sexy snacks to serve you dates, before that I want to update you on my Amazon Handmade interview and how that went a couple of days ago, which you know I had online through a Zoom you know, it, they said it was an hour, about an hour, but it only took me about 20 minutes to get verified. And basically all you do is just hold up the documentation that you sent them in the first place, which is the driver's license, the bank statement or credit statement. I showed them a credit card statement from a credit card that I don't really use because I know they're not supposed to charge you for handmade products. The LLC business documentation, but they didn't ask for that. After that, they said it was going to take 72 hours to, and I would know on the, you know, through an email if I got accepted or not. And then I go online and they had these whole things that they were sending me like links to FBA and I don't know what else. So I went through all the motions. Then they charged my credit card $39.99, which they weren't supposed to. I set up a handmade seller account. And the handmade seller account goes through their own verification, but you have to be verified through the Amazon Central, if that makes any sense. The Amazon Seller Central, which is the verification method that I did on the Zoom. (laughs) I hope that doesn't confuse everybody because I'm confused explaining it. Basically what it is, is that I guess they just wanted to make sure that there was a real credit card, but they shouldn't have charged it the whole $39.99 because handmade products are supposed to be for free. You're not supposed to be able, I mean, you're not supposed to be charged for selling handmade products on Amazon. Therefore, I had to email them and tell them, you know, I was charged. I applied for the handmade seller, which is different than the regular seller. And they just sent me an email this morning saying, hey, congratulations. Welcome to Amazon Handmade. I'll let you know when I get the refund on the $39.99. That's all I wanted to update you on. Let's start with our 10 sexy snacks to serve your date. Just 10 simple snacks that you can serve guests. Maybe if you have a get together for some work buddies or some friends that are hanging out, you know, Uh, and you don't know what to put out on the table. So you don't want to make a big meal or anything, something easy, uh, easy to clean up, you know, that everybody likes. Number one on that list is strawberries and chocolate. So you buy the chocolate syrup that hardens on the ice cream. That's the kind that you get. You get a big flat dish, set a wax paper down on it. It doesn't have to be wax paper, but some, you could even put, you know, whatever, but you don't want to put paper towels because the paper towel is kind of a, uh, you know, it'll stick. So what you do is you pour the syrup into a cup, you dip the strawberries halfway into the chocolate so that, you know, the strawberry shows, right? And then you lay them down, starting out on the outside of the dish and moving your way in. And then um, you put it in the fridge and that'll harden within like, I mean, a couple of minutes. Then they'll melt quickly. So... You have to make sure that your guest is ready to eat them before serving. So as soon as they walk in the door, you want to put that out. Like you don't want to leave it sitting there because then it's that chocolate is going to melt. Okay. Uh, Number two is hummus and crackers. How do you pronounce hummus? I don't know. Hummus. Hummus. I don't know. Really. Hummus and crackers. If anybody knows what hummus is, it's uh, chickpeas or garbanzo beans and they're smashed together with garlic and olive oil, pepper, and uh, there's some other things that people put in there. It's some kind of uh, peanut butter. There's some kind of peanut butter. I can't remember what it is, but I don't care for that part. I'll just use the garlic, olive oil, black pepper, lemon juice to make my hummus. And I usually make my own hummus. So 
you best uh, serve this with, uh, you can buy the hummus, by the way. It's already pre-made, unless you want to make your own. I just told you how to make it. you got to smash up the green, uh, the garbanzos. So the best served with uh, salt crackers or, or toasted or even wheat thins. Those are pretty good with wheat thins or those uh, triscuits. The firmer, the better. That's the point. You don't want it to break. You know, you don't want the cracker to break because the hummus is not really soft like a normal dip or like a cheese dip, for example. This is more, it's got a little texture to it. So you don't want them to break, you know. And you serve on two separate dishes, cheese crackers. And number three is cheese crackers and grapes. That is perfect. A nice pepper jack or a mild cheddar on a saltine or a wheat thin is a great little snack. You cut them into little thin squares and you place them on the dish with the crackers and the grapes. Number four, olives and toothpicks. One of my favorites. I love olives. Any kind of olives. I like the green, you know, with the little red inside, right? You take the olives, uh, you put them on a little bowl or a dish, and you just stab each one of them with a toothpick. You lay them down on a dish, and you don't have to place them on a dish because they lay out juices. Uh, so don't, because they lay out juices, you don't want to lay them out on a dish. You might want to put um, maybe paper towels underneath it. And you want to use doilies if you have. Doilies you can actually find at the dollar store. I've seen them there. And that's it. Number five, peanuts, pretzels, and Cheez-Its. The perfect trail mix. If you want to add other things to it, you can. But I like to buy my own. One bag of each, you know, pretzels and Cheez-Its. And do it yourself. They already come pre-made for some of you that want to get the the trail mix or the whatever the checks mix but you can also make trail mix you can add peanuts you can add raisins to that if you wanted you can add um, M&Ms and put it all together and that's a nice little snack for everybody number six mozzarella sticks lay them out on a paper towel on a dish and put a side of ketchup or marinara sauce in a small dipping cup on the side you don't want to put it there in the same plate right because it's going to make a mess um, here's a tip you invest in serving trays for snacks uh, they're not expensive you find them at the dollar stores different colors you know cheap i mean great for chips and dips everyone really should have one of these in their kitchen just in case number seven carrot sticks celery sticks with dip for you natural people and i'd like to add broccoli to this raw broccoli and raw cauliflower and you can cut them up into small little trees you know cut them smaller and put them on the side that's also good you just slice a few carrots the long way you stick them in a tall glass of water filled halfway and you leave it in the fridge until the guest arrives so it keeps it nice and cool and you do the same with the celery sticks you put french onion dip or spinach dip which is good on the side or ranch if you have ranch dressing, use that Use that as well. Number eight, breadsticks. Just like in the restaurants, breadsticks never go out of style. You put them in a tall glass or a cool looking cup or something, and you leave them right there uh, next to a pitcher of cool water or a drink, and it's always good to have something, uh, another snack there as well as like uh, cheese cubes, or little tiny cheese cubes. Number nine, biscotti, my favorite, a perfect treat for coffee. The Italian favorite is always in my home. Not the biscotti though, I'm joking. There's really no Italian here, but anyway. They even have a chocolate covered uh, biscotti now, which I love, 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 love. But they have the plain ones, which are good too. Uh, you can either leave the, uh, lay them out on a dish, napkin, or upright, in a nice cup and I really like that look where they are up in a cup because uh, for some reason they well first of all they take up less space if you don't have a big table or you don't have a lot of room you can pretty much put them anywhere so you know and second of all I just like the way they look it looks like little flowers you know kind of like uh, I don't know they just look better and last but not least are candies always have a dish of candy in your home every day like you're like it's Halloween those little miniature fun size snacks, you know, the little Snickers, little M&M packs, little 
uh, Twix, whatever. Always have a bag of those mixed candies because you never know you have guests and if you don't have the rest of the stuff at least you have a bowl of candy to offer you know I like to have gum in there too you know and like uh, lifesavers or candy mints for breath and stuff because if you have company over you know and they are drinking or they're you don't know you just want to give them something to you know to eat that's going to make their breath smell nicer and I think that that's pretty nice or even even peppermint sticks are good I have those too like the ones for Christmas the candy canes I couldn't think of the name peppermint sticks you know there you go my my English so you always have a bowl of mints you know like the after dinner mints just before kissing um to make everybody relaxed I mean if to, if you're going to kiss your guests I don't know if you have maybe you have just one guest or have maybe you have multiple guests I don't know listen I'm not in your business you take care of yourselves okay uh, the chocolate mini bars the Hershey kisses the lollipops are also really good um, and gum and you put them in a you know high shelf so you don't eat them and you bring them down when company comes over lay them out with everything else and that's a perfect little snack so honestly just remember and also have water also have bottles of water in the fridge I always have bottles of water in the fridge for guests. I can't tell you guys how happy I am that you are listening. I have new countries paying attention right now and new cities and places that I've never even been to. And I think that that's pretty awesome. And it's, I don't see who is listening, just so you know. I can't see who it is that's listening. But I do have an algorithm on Buzzsprout that uh, shows me on a map, on a world map, where I'm being listened to, like what countries and cities I'm being listened to, but it doesn't show me the people. I wish it would show me the people, that'd be awesome, but you know, who's got, you know, all that time to read all those millions of downloads? I don't have millions of downloads, I just said that. I'm manifesting my, you know, like in the secret, I'm manifesting, I'm bringing it in, thoughts become things, thoughts become things, okay. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little Friday food day for you. And tomorrow is my Spanglish, Saturday Spanish, so I have a surprise there for you too. Don't forget that there is a link below the show notes for this episode so that you can see the actual pictures of these snacks connected to the article that I wrote about it, okay? If you love the show, also look at the link below. Support the show if you can or if you want to. Don't forget to rate and review. Leave a little comment. And if you're interested in doing what I'm doing right now or being a podcaster, or maybe you feel you have some ideas, there's also a link below there too. It says Buzzsprout. Click on that. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you very much. I appreciate you all, each and every one of you for listening. I know that you're taking time out of your day just to hear me talk to you. And that is everything to me. I hope I help you talk to you guys soon. God bless you. And what is it that we say here? What do we say when we end the show. What do we say? Ciao.